we've been hearing about risk factors and comorbidities, risk groups for TB. Diabetes has been highlighted here at the conference in Barcelona. But what other risk groups do you think are the most important ones? Diabetes has definitely been getting a lot of attention and I think it's great. I think it's definitely important. Uh, as you mentioned though, there are other diseases um, and, and risk, risk behaviors, if you will, that will place a person at it uh, for increased risk for, for TB. Uh, the, at the top of the list is smoking. Smoking, of course, uh, does a lot of bad things to you, one of which is to increase the risk for development of TB and for being infected with TB. Uh, regular alcohol use and alcohol abuse has also been associated with increased risk for TB, and as well undernutrition and malnutrition. None of which have, um, I guess they haven't been emphasized quite as much during the conference, um, but they, they certainly should be ignored. What kind of actions do you think need to be taken to, to improve the situation with those three risk groups and risk factors? Well, for the first two, I would say these are, I guess, maybe socially maladaptive behaviors or, or bad behaviors, if you will. So changing those types of behaviors, of course, uh, is a very complicated thing. You need to be counseling on smoking cessation or talking to people about uh, decreasing their alcohol um, intake. And in addition to that, actually changing, health, uh, changing laws uh, for smoke-free environments and things of that nature. Um, so I think that the, the, the strategy actually needs to be multivariable and multifactorial. And the strategy for nutrition, what should that be? That also I think is a, is a very complicated one to, to, uh, to address, partly because there are so many things that actually do contribute to under, undernutrition and malnutrition. One of the key things of course is just food shortage in and of itself, something that we know has been linked to stunting of growth in children or um, delayed development in children. Um, but in addition to that, another, another variable that hasn't been discussed as much, nor has it been published um, as much, is a potential link between uh, poor sanitation and poor quality of water uh, with TB with malnutrition being that link that ties the two. Because poor sanitation can give you a gut that doesn't accept the nutrition very well. Yeah, it, it, it causes this kind of chronic diarrhea. And um, so if you have chronic diarrhea, even if you have a lot of food, you're not going to be absorbing the nutrients, hence you're undernourished. Another factor that we haven't talked about a great deal, being a man or being a woman could influence your risks depending on where you are, couldn't it? It, it does indeed. Uh, there ha is a well-known gender disparity for tuberculosis. In most countries of the world, men are at greater risk for developing TB as compared to women, with an increased risk of, of um, two to three uh, to one in terms of the, uh, the ratio. Uh, we, everybody has a lot of ideas about why this may be the case, uh, but we're not exactly certain. However, one of, the, one of the associations that does make sense is that in many countries, men do smoke and drink more than women do. So it's possible that, these, um, that smoking and drinking, in terms of its uh, risk for TB, could be disproportionately affecting the male population. Mm. Is there a take-home message from all of these risk groups that you would like people to remember? I guess uh, the take-home would be um, in the same way that we're thinking about diabetes and TB and in combining the two in a bi-directional framework, maybe down the road we, we might think about doing that for these other diseases as well. Um, it may be more complex, actually, just because we're talking about social behaviors, but I think it's definitely worth thinking about. Knut Lonroth was just saying that social protection actually is, is an important thing. Now, he was saying that that means thinking outside the box. What did you make of those thoughts when caring for TB, going beyond just looking at the disease, how best to treat it? I definitely agree with him. I think his point on thinking outside the health system is really relevant and uh, certainly we see it a lot uh, in caring for patients with MDR-TB, which I, I think he mentioned as well, that the, the concept of protecting these patients um, or shall we say um, having a patient-centered approach where we think not only about the patient and their health but also about getting them to the clinic and the impact on their livelihood um, as impacting the, the treatment success. And all sorts of barriers which might prevent them from going forward for treatment or going forward for detection. Yeah, absolutely, and, and, and there may be things that doctors and, and nurses may not think of at the forefront of their minds, but um, there, are, there are many, many hurdles, actually, that a patient does need to cross in order to uh, take their medicines on a daily basis, especially for MDR.